we think there are going to be several hundred thousand people lined up Friday night and Saturday morning just to have the first one, just for that cool factor. The trick is getting your hands on one. David Pogue did, and as he showed us, step one is using your digits to unlock the iPhone's much-hyped features, whether playing videos or even resizing photos. You zoom in or zoom out by pinching or unpinching with your fingers. It's spectacular. Well, at least it is the core design, from web surfing to a menu of your voicemails that look more like emails to Google Maps. It's not true GPS, but it does show you each driving instruction. To, oh yeah, the phone, which isn't exactly front and center. You have to turn the thing on, then you hit the home button, then you hit the phone button, then you hit the address book, and then you tap the names. And in case you hadn't noticed by now, there's no physical keypad. It's virtual. And that means a learning curve, especially for those of us with fat thumbs or who have just gotten used to typing on one of these. For most, though, it's still a thumbs up. And unless you're some, you know, emotion-free Vulcan, um, this phone brings pleasure, and that should count. Okay, hold the iPhone for a second. Why so much buzz about yet another personal device? It's got everything you need all wrapped up in one. People are already waiting in line. Ultimately, the buildup is built on Apple's now iconic iPod, which debuted in 2001 and has since sold more than 100 million units. That's how many iPhones Apple may sell by 2010, according to analyst Richard Doherty. We think a million phones will be flying out the door that first weekend, uh, and perhaps a few more million during July. But cash will also fly out of your wallet. $500 to $600 for the device itself, plus a two-year contract, with monthly fees ranging from $60 to $100 using exclusive carrier AT&T, not known for having the fastest data network. Am I on the case or what? By the way, save your eye pennies. Some analysts believe the next generation of iPhone may be available within a year. Daniel Seberg, CBS News, New York.